then I'll, then I'll pray, and then we'll sing, and we'll, we'll just go from there. Again, don't worry about filming any of this. When I get to the sermon, I'll be half an hour, so no one will need to stand up. If you record my singing, that will be very interesting. <clears throat> but we are talking about singing, so I'm just going to read these words. After this, I heard what seemed to be the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven crying out, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. For his judgments are true, his judgments are just. For he has judged the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her immorality, and has avenged on her the blood of his servants. Once more they cried out, Alleluia. The smoke from her goes up forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who was seated on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And from the throne came a voice, saying, Praise our God. All ye his sailor, his servants, you who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of mighty pearls of thunder, crying out, Alleluia, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and exhort, and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. It was granted her to clothe herself with fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you, and your brothers, who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And with that, let us pray, and then we will come before the Lord.